Hey everybody, welcome back to Twin Chamber Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to stream your Xbox to your PC or laptop using the Xbox app. Now, why would you want to do this? I hear you say, well, my Xbox is currently downstairs in the living room, set up all nice and snug, and I don't want to have to bring it all the way upstairs just so I can play a few games and chill out before I go to bed. Well, using Xbox Remote Play, you don't have to, and it is quite a fantastic feature. You could also... Maybe you are a Twitch streamer and you want to stream it to your laptop so you there can then capture the screen and use green screens and effects like this. As you saw in my streaming to Twitch video, unless you pay £4.99 a month, you're not going to get those features. You're just going to get a webcam on the screen. And maybe you want your alerts, your sound things and everything like that to be coming through your laptop. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be plausible for doing that? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's uh, just dive into the video, shall we? So first thing we need to do is on the Xbox, we need to go to the settings app. So we can press the Xbox button, go all the way to the bit where your name is, scroll down to the bit where it says settings, press settings. And then I'm already here because I've been looking at it already today. But if you just go down to the devices and connections, go to where it says remote features and click enable remote features and make sure that this is ticked and it will test your setup the first time you do it and let you know what it is capable of and whether your setup is going to be good for it. So we'll just wait for that. There we go. That is my current in internet connection. Upstream bandwidth of over nine megabits per second. Big tick there. Network latency is less than 60 milliseconds. So hopefully that means that the input lag isn't going to be that great. I've got a Bluetooth controller and my controller firmware is all up to date and power is on instant on. That's what it needs to be. So that's what the next step. So click next console is ready for remote play click close so next thing we want to do is go to the bit where it says xbox xbox app preferences and you're going to want to set this to only from profile signed in on this xbox console so you're logged in on the xbox app on your laptop using your xbox live hopefully and that way you can do that but if you want to allow connections from any device which i highly do not recommend unless you're not you're not willing to log into your xbox app on your computer but you're going to be using the same app anyway so you might as well Next on Mac, sleep mode. This needs to be on standby. Like just in my video when I shown you how to set it up so your Xbox downloads while it's asleep, standby is what you need to be on for this to work. And that's everything for the remote features that is needed. Can also set this up to run with Google Assistant and Alexa and things like that if you want. But I'm going to be covering that in a video. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay notified. Okay, so now we need to move over to the computer. So I'm going to shut the Xbox down and we'll, we'll move on to the computer. Okay, so over on the computer on the Xbox app, we're going to be fire up the Xbox app and log in. And then in the top right corner here, there's this section here, which has the picture of the webcam for the Insider program. Oh, I think that's actually an astronaut. I've just figured that out. We've got notifications and obviously I'm signed in there to that. So when I click consoles for remote play, Xbox is on standby on. If I click on that, that will launch my Xbox from. So my Xbox is a, will be asleep downstairs. I'll have switched off. I'll have come upstairs to relax, watch some Netflix and stuff. And I think, ah, maybe I want a quick game. Press F11. We'll go full screen. Nope, we already were full screen. It launched in full screen. And now we just wait for my Xbox to turn on. And there we go. Xbox is switched on. Now, my current controller downstairs is not plugged in. It's controlled here. So when I it turn on my controller, so, and there we go. I'm using my controller plugged into my computer. And just to prove that it is, what I'll do is I'll open the game bar at the top. And as I move around, it moves stuff on my computer and not on the Xbox. And then when we get into the Xbox app, Put it in full screen, and there you go. That's my Xbox running on my laptop screen. Now you're probably wondering how it how it plays, how the uh, input lag is. So I wouldn't probably recommend this for playing Warzone or Apex Legends or Fortnite. You're not going to be absolutely sweating your back out. But say you just wanted a quick game of Fable Anniversary or Ori in the Blind Forest or something like that. You can also use this for streaming as well, so you don't need a capture card. 
to capture it. It's another way of broadcasting to and using OBS at the same time on a laptop. So what you do is you plug it into your TV on the left side of your screen and then remote access into your desktop and use the desktop as a source on OBS. If you want a video showing you how to do that to set everything up using remote play, then let me know down in the comments and I'll look into doing that. So I'm going to continue my game on Fable Anniversary. And this is all running off the laptop screen. I don't have this plugged into a TV at all. Well, it's plugged into the TV downstairs, but that TV switched off. And there you go. Now, there is quite a slight bit of delay. 60 milliseconds. There is a bit of input delay and stuff there. So, like I said, you're not going to be sweating your absolute back out. And also, depending on your current connection, your router and things like that. So, if you have a... If you have everything etherneted in, it will probably be much better than this. But it's quite a uh, a unique solution, I'd say. So I'll I'll show you the input latency here. So I'll press I'll press punch on my controller. And jump. There is no jump button in this game, but that's just to say hello. So let's move forward a bit. So it's quite instant, but you can feel it if you're used to like playing a game. No, I'm not sponsoring your gar your break. You can't really. I don't know if you can punch kids in this game. Can you punch kids? I think that goes against YouTube's term of service. <laughs> Let's get somewhere where we we're supposed to, we can do some fighting. See, slight bit of stutter there, slight bit of stutter. Now you can see my video streaming to Twitch directly through the Xbox using the Twitch app. Uh, you can see the difference between the two. I'll put I'll put it up side by side from that, so um, it won't be a side by side like comparison because I was uh, streaming at the time. I'm recording at the same time. I'm not streaming at the minute, but you can see the difference in the picture quality and the stutter and things like that. So let's just. Little bit of visual delay there, like we saw in the with the cloud gaming. Respect, Is it enough to put off your viewers? I mean, I could put up with that if I was just having a nice little chill game upstairs and I didn't want to bring the Xbox up. Or I didn't want to go downstairs. It's a picnic area, there's some bees there. Let's test some input latency here. There's usually some bees and stuff around there. Oh no, there's nothing around here now. I got rid of all the bees. What's she crying for? Is it going all right? Is it going all right? I'll come back for you later when I play the game properly. Cut this down to about two, three minutes. I just need some bad guys, basically. Two. Obviously, it's limited it's as well to 1080p and 60 frames per second. Oh, what? What is that? Okay, we're on a, on a bit of a battle. Oh. oh. I might die here. So, yeah, she's got some scorpions out. I don't remember these being in the game. Uh, so, press Y to attack. That's the sort of input latency we are looking for. There we go. So, why to attack? Why to attack? Why to attack? I don't know if you'd be able to play a game like Dark Souls like this, but a simple game like this is pretty easy. I don't know, I might try it with Sekiro Shadows Die twice. So, let's uh, test my blocking skills. So, we're blocking. Attack. So yeah, I don't think it'd be uh, good for a game like Dark Souls, but it's fantastic for a game like this. I am called the Rune Master. So there you have it, streaming directly from my Xbox to my laptop screen. 
you like this video, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, and that's it. Streaming from my Xbox directly to my laptop screen. If you've liked this video, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And that's it. Streaming. And that's it. How to stream from your Xbox Series S, your desktop computer, or your laptop. As you can see, it is not perfect, but it is. It's good enough and it works. So that is absolutely fantastic. If this video has helped you, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Xbox and retro game videos. If you're interested in retro gaming and you want to know how to play retro games on your Xbox Series S, then check out my videos. They will be in the description down below. And I'm going to be showing you how to set up perfectly the GameCube emulator, the PlayStation 2 emulator. I say perfect because PlayStation 2 emulation is never perfect perfect uh, emulation itself is never perfect unless it's like the snares of the game boy or something like that um n64 games so we can play ocarina of time or twilight princess whatever your favorite legend of zelda game is all of them barring the ones that were on the switch and wii u because obviously they are not going to be available to play on the xbox via emulation all that being said you have a fantastic day and remember don't do anything i wouldn't do